Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my Atlanta haul. I wanted to do a vlog and then I got up to the trade show yesterday and lost all sense and didn't film anything. And I was like, I don't think y'all wanna just see me hanging out at the hotel room, that's boring. Uh, so we're just gonna go over the stuff I bought. So the first thing I got is from the Best Shot booth. I went up and talked to Dave Campanella for a long ass time. He is so knowledgeable about the products. I really appreciate him taking the time to talk to me about everything. So they had a deal going that you could get like six products for $50 or something. But then I think this one like counted for two or something. I can't remember. I remember it was $50. I know that for sure. Let's see if it says on this. No. <laughs> just $50. <laughs> okay, so, sorry, it's so early, and we had a time change last night, so I don't know how much sleep I got, but that's okay, because I'm going to go home and conk out. So, this is what I wanted to try the most, this, the Max Ultra Concentrate, um, and he said, like, you literally just need, like, a couple drops of this. Like, see how it says it makes over 10 quarts? And he said that, honestly, it's probably more like 20. But apparently, you just need a little drop, a couple little drops of this. And it's really good for, like, dematting and de-shedding and all of those different things. Um, the reason I got it is it's scent-free. And I have some clients that are, well, just one now, but... She is like very, very sen sensitive to the fragrance. So I'm gonna bring this up to her and see if she'll let me use it. Cause right now she gives me a shampoo to use on her dog and she will not let me use conditioner. And I've conditioner ranted enough times that you guys probably know how important it is. I need to make another updated video for the YouTube world on why conditioners are important. I just did one, a live stream not too long ago on Instagram talking about that. Um. So, anyway, this was what I was most excited about. I'd heard them talk about it on the Groom Pod, um, and this is one of their newer pro products. He said it's um, definitely similar to, like, the stuff. So, um, really nice. And they post all of their ingredients and the MSDS forms on their website, which is really cool. I was really happy to hear they, they do that, and they really want to push for everybody listing ingredients. And I think that's amazing. We're aligned there, and I cannot stress enough how good their stuff is for de-shedding. Um, and I like it a lot on doodles. So the next thing I got is their Ultramax shampoo. I got two of them because I don't like having gallons in the shop or in the shop, in the van, because I don't have that much room, um, so I buy a bunch of small bottles, that's what you're gonna see a lot of, is because I like to be able to have some variety, you know, so, um, this is just their regular Ultramax shampoo, um, you can see there's, like, different ratios here on how you can mix it, um, it's all going to vary upon, like, your water, um, and that's for really any product, so, um, if you have hard water, you may need more than you would if you have like soft water and those kind of things. You kind of got to test it out. So you can start small and then add more as needed, if that makes sense. So if you do your like mixing bottles and you go and start using it, you don't feel like you're getting a good lather, add a little more. Um, so that's why they have like such different amounts. So I really like the Ultramax shampoo. It's great for de-shedding. It's great for even like, um, like spaniels and stuff for like the, to decrease the dry time and everything. It's really, really good. So, um, the next thing I got is the conditioner that Nicole Dunn Grooming has been telling me about. And again, it is, it says eight to one, but you can just adjust it. And if you're using it in the bathing system, then you use even less. And he was saying like, you know, just kind of mess around with it and see like what ratio works best. Mm, that smells good. Oh, that must be their sweet pea fragrance. Yeah, that smells good. I was telling him, I was like, you know, I like everything I've used, but they had this like 
um, product that was meant to be used in the bathing system. It was like really minty smelling. And I was like, I'm not a fan of the mint. I was like, so if you did that one in a different scent, I'd, I'd probably repurchase. I was like, but I don't like the mint. And he said they were working on maybe a fragrance free in that one. So I'd be cool with fragrance free. Um, but I don't, I don't like mint. I was like, and that's total preference. I liked how it worked. I just didn't like the mint. And then the last thing I got, I'm trying to be quiet with this bag. It's so loud and crinkly. I don't want y'all just being crinkled in your ears okay so the last thing i got is the finishing spray um this i saw jay scruggs and Suze Echo talking about that they um they use it it's the same fragrance that like sweet pea fragrance so it's good it's like a light smell it's not like god if i can get this lid back on um I don't think it's like an overpowering smell, but it smells nice. Um, cause I am a smell person. Like I said, I can't with like the mint and those kind of things. Um, God, who was it? Somebody used to have like a charcoal or oh, it was Melanie Newman. <laughs> oh my God. They had some stinky products. Um, but I'm not into like the essential oil kind of stuff. And I could not stand the smell of that product. I did not rebuy it for that reason. But I, I do like some of the Melanie Newman. So I don't want to trash them as a whole. But, oof, there's, I think it was their charcoal one. that It was like, <laughs> I think it was, if you watch my Atlanta haul from last year, I like smelled it. And I was like, oh, I hate this immediately. It smells so bad. Okay, so this, I got this entire bag for like $36. I think they were doing buy two, get one free. Okay, so what do we have? Did I get two of these? Yeah. Okay, so um, she gave me another one. But they're basic deep clean shampoo. Um, and these are all, are these like 8 or 16 ounce? They're 8 ounce. But um, they're so affordable. And then they sent me a receipt over text, so... But I know it was $36 for this whole bag. Oh, and they're also going to be selling on their own website now. It's going to be Botanica slash USA.com. So you can order from them. Because Pet Store Direct has like a really expensive, like you just spend like $200 to get free shipping. And I never need $200 worth of stuff. So let me smell this again because I don't remember what it smelled like. Okay, it's got like a very clean kind of fragrance. Um, it's got aloe vera in it, which is nice. Um, yeah. And they list. So, yeah, it's a good product. I, I love the price point. Um, and again, you can get that on their website. You can get it from Pester Direct. And that was the other one. Whitman's Sharpening with... Is it Whitman's? I don't know. I never bought from them. Um, okay, so she told me that everybody's been loving this one, the charcoal. I like charcoal shampoo, so. Okay, this smells the same. Oh, that's good, because charcoal shampoo can be stinky, but this smells the same as this one. It's like just like a fresh, clean kind of scent. It's not overpowering. Um, how much did these dilute to? A one to five ratio. So you do need more product with this one but again it still does per de depend on your water because like I've noticed like Hydra for example they have that um extreme and it's four to one but like if I do four to one it like hardly mixes in so I do less usually sometimes I'll even do 10 to one and I think it works just fine um because I see people complaining about that with the extreme that they're like god you have to like use so much and you do yeah if you do four to one oh my god you're gonna go through like five to one I'd probably use this thing up in like just a couple bottles worth, you know, but play around with it. You can play around with your products. That's just a general suggestion from the manufacturer. But like I said, there's different factors, like as far as like, you know, what kind of water you have and your environment, and those kind of things. Um, I want to do more teaching on like shampoos and stuff. Now this one I have not tried and I hadn't tried the charcoal either, but I, I have tried the deep clean, I believe. I think I got it last year. So this is the Harsh and Shiny Coat. And she was telling me I could use this with the Volumizing too to like get a good combination. But let's talk about this one first. So this one is, oh, it says um, you can dilute one to five up to one to 10. 
So um, I'll probably use it more at the one to 10. And again, they do have their ingredients right on the bottle. Best Shot is going towards like using the QR code and then you'll just go there and it'll bring you straight to their website, um, which that's fine. My main thing is that I wanna be able to see the ingredients just to kind of get an idea. One thing I was talking to like Dave Campanella about is like, okay, so this one, for example, you get the ingredients that are listed on the back, but then most companies will put like aloe vera, keratin, those kind of things. Um, so what I like to do is see where that aloe vera is. And on this one is kind of more towards the middle of the ingredient list. So the ingredients, what the, what's the most, how am I gonna say this? There's mostly whatever the first ingredient, that's what the main ingredient is, if that makes sense. So water is always gonna be the first ingredient. So it's mostly water. And then the next thing is sodium coca. Oh no, it's too early. <laughs> coca. I'm not even gonna try it. I tried it twice. Coca There's coca metal propyl detaine. I've got that one down. God, the other one's just not computing right now. Um, not enough sleep in my life. Uh, and anyway, so if they say like, oh, it's got like keratin and whatever, and it's the last ingredient, that means there's like a little pinch of keratin, right? So anyway, that's why I like to see, cause you know, they're gonna advertise, like this has botanical complex, that's what they want. And it's a conditioning formula and it's concentrated and easy to rinse. So this is what they want you to know about the product. But then I like to flip it over and like I said, see what else is in it. Another thing that always stands out to me is if they add like 20 different, uh, I wonder what a botanica complex is. I gotta look that up. But if they add like 20 different oils and extracts and all that, sometimes it's like fluff. So I really like to um, just take a peek at the ingredients. It's the same scent. You know, a lot of companies are getting into this same scent for everything kind of thing. And I have a love-hate relationship with it. I like the different just throw it. I like the different scents personally. So I wish they had different scents. Yeah, this one too. They're all the same scent. I mean, it's not a bad scent, but I'm like, I want a variety. Okay. So this one has cotton extract, the Botanica complex, concentrated formula, and easy to rinse. And then they're doing the no parabens, sulfates, colorants, all of those things. But me and Dave were having a conversation about the no sulfates and all that. So... Do I want to get into this in this video or should I do a separate video? Um, I guess I'll just scratch the surface. Basically, oh, do they have that on every bottle? This says what kind of dogs to use it on on the side. Like this one says Poodle, Bichon Frise, uh, Bedlington, Spitz, Husky, and all breeds with volume coat type, which typically I wouldn't think husky with volume. What does this one say? Nordic breed Spitz, Moid, Husky, Bearded Collie, German Shepherds, Airedale Terrier, Schnauzer, Griffins, and any breed with coarse, harsh coat. Okay. Wow. Um, okay. So a lot of this like sulfates are bad and you know all those things comes from the like more all natural companies, right? And it's a lot of fear mongering. So basically the thing is, is like sulfates, that's just the detergent in your shampoo that makes it lather and that makes it clean. So um, there's nothing, and this, Dave said this, that there's nothing toxic. Like they're not trying to like poison you with the shampoo, you know? So uh, the sulfate free thing, the only time I've ever heard it actually being like making a difference is in human hair. If you have like a keratin treatment, if you've got the extensions, like especially like the beaded in extensions um, or like certain colors you don't wanna use sulfates on um, because it can break down the bonds quicker. So like if you have the extensions, it could cause your extensions to come out faster. The keratin treatment, um, it can start to, um, I don't know how I want to phrase this, whittle away, like it'll make your keratin treatment not, treatment not last as long. But out of all the things I mentioned, what would of those things would you be using on a dog? You know, so anyway, that's a whole discussion for a different day. Um, 
so the next thing I got is the avocado leave-in. This one was one of my favorites. I remember I liked the smell a lot. It was so good. I have it. Oh yeah, so good. It's got that like very salon kind of scent. I don't know how to describe it. Like, you know when you go in a salon and they're using products, you're like, wow, this smells so good. That's what this smells like. So that is one of my favorites, that Tangle Free spray. And then this one is a new one, well, new to me, that I have not tried. And, um, again, all the ingredients are listed. Oh, you can delete this one. Okay. Magic Touch Grooming Spray. Let me show it to you. I'm just like, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have the, and this is their active line. I just wanted to, like, the booth was so busy. Oh, that smells good. Hmm. I don't... It's different. Like, that one's, like, more, like, salon fresh. This almost has, like, a little fruitiness fragrance to it. Okay. So, what is this one better for? Is for detangling? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. She said this one was a heavier mist. And, like, said this will be better for, like, actual detangling. Whereas this one's, like, a light spray that you can use on, like, any coat. So this one's like a little bit more conditioning. Um, it says it's for all coat types. So nice. So that's all I got from Botanica. We're almost done. We're almost done, Hammy. I don't know what made me think I needed to do this haul right now. Oh, I know because I am going to get home and not want to do it. <laughs> so that's the main reason. I was like, let me just do it in the hotel. It's early as hell anyway. Damn, seven twenty in the morning. Okay. So lastly. GSH gave me these blades and they also replaced all my brushes which they did not have to do I was just like showing them because we were supposed to originally be doing like video demos with like another company that they were going to be filming the demos and everything um and I was concerned because my brushes were like peeling and everything so they just like literally just like were like they I showed it them the brush and they just threw it in the trash and like handed me a new one I was like oh I was like, well, I didn't need, like, a new one. And then, like, I felt bad. I still have some of them. Like, I kept, like, two of them because I was like, I don't, I feel so bad, like, throwing these away. Um, Erica, I think her is Groom Groom Witch Baby. She was like, just give them away to somebody. I'll probably do that. But they're also, like, a little janky, so I don't know. Anyway, so I got the wide blades, too. They let me have these. I was going to buy them. And they were like, nope, that's your, basically, payment for working the booth. And I was like... I was like, are you sure that I can't, like, pay you this? I've been told about the wide, wide blades for forever. I got two sevens as well. I honestly didn't know what the fuck to get. They were like, you just grab something. I was like, I don't know. I have so many shears, so I didn't need shears, but I did want to try the wide blades. I want to get the guards for these, but they only had them, like, individual, and I didn't want to grab that many. And then they had, like, a doodle package thing that was, like, $1.99, and you got, like, the blaze, you got a brush, and, like, all the guards, but I'll eventually buy the guards for them. Okay, so that's all I got from GSA, or, sorry, the Sharpie Sharpening booth, and thank you again, Sharpie Sharpening and GSH for giving me so much stuff, like, it was crazy. He also gave me, like, a ton of, like, sheer oil. He's, he was like, I make this, like, you can just have it, and I was like, oh my god. So I finally got the trach saver, and let me get it out. I'm not sure how, oh, it's rubber banded. That's okay. It's not, like, zip-tied or anything. I don't know how this thing's going to work. You want to test this out? He's like, Mom, I'm tired, too. I think there's this button. Okay. Okay, so this goes on their back. And then the little armies go through here. Okay. I got purple. I'm a purple person. My sister always makes fun of me because purple people apparently are a different breed and we all love purple. Damn, I meant to buy a palm mat. You let me leave without a palm mat. Why'd you do that? He's like, I don't know. Why are you blaming me for everything? Um, so yeah, we got the trait saver. 
that was $39.95 at the Pet Edge booth. Um, so that everyone can try. And I got two different ear cleaners. I really wanted the Lisa Lee ear cleaner, but apparently so did everybody else. The Pet Edge and Frank Rowan said the same thing because I swear I got this at the Pet Edge booth, but it says Frank Row right there. I don't know. I'm just existing. But so this is by, oh, I thought this was by Artero, but. Oh, it is by Artero. I see. The Aru gel? I don't know. And we've got ingredients listed. But this one's more like a gel-like. Um, what's her name? Cindy Oliver was telling me. Is it Cindy Oliver? I hope I said the right name. She's uh, one of the creative groomers, and she's really good. Um, but anyway, so she was telling me about this. She was like, you get the Lisa Leedy, which I will. I guess I'm going to have to order it because um, they were sold out. I should have gotten there sooner. I should have gone, like, first thing in the morning, and I did not do that. And then I got, this is the pet, professional pet products. This one also lists, oh, and this one, by the way, this one was $14.07, and this one's $4.89. Let's see what it smells like. Ew, it smells fucking terrible. Oh, it smells so bad. Why did I smell it again? Um, it's very liquidy. I guess as long as it does the job, right? Why does it smell so bad? Ooh. I don't like how that smells. That's okay. I wasn't expecting to be in love with either of these. I was just looking for something. Um, I needed an ear cleaner. And I really just wanted that Lisa Lady. So... I'm gonna just have to order it, which is okay because I gotta order a palm mat too because I freaking that. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my haul. Um, I did not get as much stuff as I wanted to, to be honest. Uh, yesterday was such a whirlwind. I thought about going back up there today, but oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm gonna be like half <laughs> asleep trying to talk to people. So anyway, I'm gonna hit the road. I'm sorry to go home and see my dogs. Luna. She has escaped her crate. Like, she just basically hasn't been in her crate the entire time I've been gone. And I'm, like, fortunately, I've been so busy. I, like, I'm just not even stressing myself out about it. But Luna, out of all the dogs, has to be crated because she will just chew up anything. And she's at risk of an obstruction. I don't know what's happening. But basically, every time the dog sitter has gone there, she's left and Luna's just out of her crate and she's like oh you know Luna got out but you know whatever and I'm like okay well like make sure you like lock everything good and she's like okay and then she leaves and Luna's just out again she's out right now she's out she'll probably be out until I get home so yeah we've got Luna getting out and then we've got um Stevie who she's acting like extra sketchball right now because I've got Hammer with me so um yeah, year olds have been difficult this go round. Hammer did really good though. He did really good at the trade show. He was very overwhelmed by everything for sure. Um, he did not. He loves people, but he's not used to seeing that many people at once. So he was definitely overwhelmed. There's a few times he just stopped dead in his tracks. Y'all, <laughs> at one point you're we like walking, everything's great, and I went to like walk. I saw these people filming, and I was like trying to like walk past real quick, right? And I'm like walking. He stops dead. I'm like in the background of their thing, like trying to get. I was like god damn it dude and um then somebody started talking to us I'm just like in the background I don't even know whose fucking video that was if I find it I'll have to post it because I just know we're in the background like so fucking awkward why'd you do that to me you fucking sabotaged me I was like oh I'm gonna go real quick and he's like literally did one of those like pump the brakes <sighs> embarrassing you embarrassed me in in that moment but the rest of the time you um we're very good, so it's okay. Oh, all right, I gotta figure out how I'm getting all this shit out of here. I got so much stuff. I got just, like, my general things. Am I gonna wear my slippers home? I guess I gotta put shoes on, huh? I love my slippers. <laughs> my sister got them for me for Christmas. Uh, so, anyway, I gotta figure out how I'm getting all this shit out to my car. I guess I'm gonna have to have them come up with the little pushy cart thing and 
push it because like they don't have like a spot where I can just like carry my stuff down like in intervals to get it out to the car you know um they do like the valet parking so anyway I'm gonna go and get a coffee they got like a little starbucksy thing downstairs so I'm gonna get a coffee and um head home so thanks for watching this haul we will love you and we will see you in the next time next time <laughs> we'll see you next video goodbye <laughs>